Raphael, 7286. How you doing? We're going to measure our TV screen over here. We're going to measure our TV screen over here. Right over here. So the length of our TV is about 42. Let's show the top corner. It's okay if you get me in here, but uh, just show it. Do you want to come more in front, please? Thanks. So this is the angle of the TV. Okay, this is a rectangle. When it comes to the halfway mark, the angle length is down here 28 inches. See, we have the, it's 27 inches, 27 or 28. Okay, I have to figure out how to do that because my point should be up here. Where is my center? Okay, so it's either 20, it's 28. We can see it's 28. Show that 28. It's 28. Okay, so when we measure it that way and that way, it's 28 and 28. Now we're going to measure it this way. It's 20 inches. It's 20 inches. And now we're going to measure it, sorry. Now we're going to measure it this way. And that we get about 36. It's 36 and a half inches. We can say it's 36 inches uh, like this. And now I'm going to show you in the book what it does. I want to thank the cameraman, woman. Thank you very much. Okay, so now in the book, this is more or less of Union Jack of how I created the design and what happens where this comes out in my rectangle. I, don't, I have to re redo this design a few times because you notice the one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. The center is actually over here. Center is here. And then to measure from this point to that point. So where is this center? What's happening over here? Here's my real center. But the measuring of this. So let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it a six by eight triangle? Is it a six by eight triangle or is it a six by ten triangle? I'm gonna have to just give me a second. I'm not sure the size of a real triangle if it's two to one or three by two, but I know if you have two triangles, you have to overlap them. So we're gonna go six, and then over here, uh, we're gonna go overlap six and six. So we're gonna go six, and then the other part's gonna be four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the six part. Now the next part, because it's gonna overlap, it's gonna be one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, here. Now the next, we're gonna go back up this one. It's gonna be five by six. Now we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're gonna go here. Because I wanna overlap to create my rectangle. And this would make the uh, flag like. So when I overlap to make the triangle, I end up at one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It should be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, three, four to create the center. I'm just getting a roundabout. Now I take from my TV and I create that. Now for the center of my TV, okay, it's this whole line over here. So I really don't want to create that design. I want to create it one smaller so I can do this properly. Then I'm going to go four, one, two, three, four. And then here's the center line. So my center line will go from here to here. My complete cross line will go from here to here. My double cross will go from here to here. And my single cross will go from here to here. And I think I'm just going to blank out the top one. Give me a second. Okay, now I'm just going to blank out the top one over here. Okay, I just want to redo the bottom one here. It's sort of like my Union Jack. And I'm doing this to measure my TV. And this line over here, okay, this line over here, when I cross it this way, my marking comes out right over here. You see the marking comes out in this one single square over here. And this is measuring my TV, therefore the other way, the measurement would have to be here when I draw a line right down there. So this is how this is designed. You notice my what is created right now by measurement and reflection and measurement. And um, so this is this is on an angle. This is not this is not your 45 degree angle. This is an angle in between. Your only 45 degree angle uh, should be inside the square. I'm not finished doing this as others. This is the letter C and the letter C tilted. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it should be tilted. 
um, if it should be created like this. See the way the seven comes in? Uh, I'm trying to make this as a 3D uh, picture, what happens to this. But what happens is you have one C over here, and then you have one C over here. I'm not sure if I have it in my book. So let, let me see something. No, I don't. I have part of it. Hold on a second. I have part of it right over here. When the C meets the P next to an A, the P turns into a square A, where the A, okay, is a, is a tilted left angle A, the exante grav. So by putting letters together, it's changing other letters. This here is the same design as they have on the Ace of Spades, and I'm looking for the Ace, sorry, not the Ace of Spades, any Ace. Any Ace. Here's the ace. See the bottom of that ace, that, that, that this piece over here, down here? So when you design that, see this over here? That and that. Although my angles are different, okay, I can probably um, come up like that on my angle. That is one, two. This is one, two on my angle to create it. Or if it's even more pointier, I can come down here. I can come down here. I cannot come down here. It's got to be on this side because on this side it gives angle. After this, there is no more angle. So this is how my measurement comes. This is my TV, the cycle, the cat, the divided worlds in four. Uh, here's the other part of the cycle, uh, creation of 365 degrees of the year. And this is just one story. Thank you for watching. Raphael, 7286, in a constellation of Pegasus, what will unravel and is real.